It speaks to the heart of our community and the multi-generational differences. It is absolutely a phenomenal. It, it really is. I think it's fantastic. I mean, it looks like it's popping off the building with a 3D effect. Welcome to Daphne's Corner. You just saw some enthusiastic responses to the unveiling of the Transforming Perspectives mural on the Senior Connections building in downtown Richmond. Senior Connections provides free resources to help educate and improve the lives of the elderly. The mural represents responses given by over 170 seniors in a survey about aging gracefully and living life to the fullest. A surprising finding from the survey is that happiness actually increases in our golden years. The project was supported by Senior Connections and Genworth and was the brainchild of artist Colleen Hall, who joins us now. Welcome, Colleen. Thank now, you. how did you get involved in Senior Connections? Well, I've been an artist for 23 years doing murals, but mostly interior work. Um, I happen to know about Senior Connections because my sister-in-law actually works there, and I knew the great work that they do, and I wanted to draw some attention to it. And I was interested in the issues of aging, and unfortunately in our society, aging is seen very negatively. Uh, most of the things we hear about are anti-aging. And um, as an artist, I love to uh, gather unheard voices and untold stories. And I thought, I think we need to tell a different story here about aging. So did you create the survey? I did, I did. And uh, it was 10 questions. Uh -huh. And we wanted to hear real stories from people in the community. So uh, we did an online survey. And we had 130 responses. And then I went and did 40 video interviews where I could really get in depth with people. And, uh, and it was a wonderful experience and, and very enlightening. So what were some of the surprising results that you got? Well, I think it was basically the fact that, um, again, it, it seemed to echo what that U-curve of happiness uh, U research. U-curve of happiness? Yes. Tell me about that. Yes, there's a, there's a, a study by um, Carol Graham and some other researchers who've been looking at life satisfaction that early in life we tend to be the happiest and then it dips and it goes back up at the end of life which is kind of countercultural in terms of what we think of aging um, and this research really supported that people were living great lives they were enjoying their lives they seemed more content but most people were very active they were taking classes they were having the time to do the want to things of life as opposed to the have to uh, things and they were just enjoying their lives and I thought it was good news as somebody in middle age, I was quite inspired and thought it might be good news to a whole bunch of other people. <laughs> so very, very good. Um, once you had the survey and the results, how did you interpret that into that gorgeous piece of art? Well, I took inspiration. Uh, much of what was shared with me showed that aging could kind of be a chrysalis, like a, a transforming time period and people often became their best version of themselves. So the butterfly imagery was key. Um, then there was this sense of their, they were sort of zen-like in their ability to be wise in how they lived their lives. And I thought that kind of signaled the mandala and circular design, because we're all gonna experience this uh, aging process. Yeah. And um, the vibrant colors reflect the personalities of the people I met. I have hints of things with the river to show this idea of what much, much of the respondents were advised going with the flow of and life. And there were some key words that were used. Yes, yes, there was eight key themes that emerged from the research, and they were acceptance, mm -hmm. um, having a positive attitude, mm -hmm. gratitude, physical activity, uh, mental curiosity, spirituality, kindness to others, and connection with others. And that came through in so many ways through the research. Um, and it just seemed that they were the important things to equip oneself uh, with to age uh, gracefully and well. That's a nice lesson that we can use all through our lives if we exactly. take those eight perspectives and, yes. and use them in our daily life. It was a beautiful, beautiful, um, mandala that you created. The seniors helped you do it? Yes, the best part about this project was it was collaborative from start to finish. So it was inspired by seniors and then often helped painted by seniors. We had 11 community paint parties. Our sponsor, Genworth, helped to facilitate. And we were able to reach 515 people, actually put their hands and paintbrush to the, the painting. And um, they were from ages two to 102. Wonderful. So we established our goal of getting it to be multi-generational and bring people to this idea. Excellent. I want to thank you so much for joining us. And to find out more about Colleen's work and the Transforming Perspectives mural, 
go to ColleenHall.com. And for more on the valuable resources offered by Senior Connections, go to SeniorConnections-VA.org.